Ronaldo kicks the ball at 80 miles per hour, so it'll reach the goal line in just a quarter of a second. Now for goalie centered, then the maximum distance he has to travel is 12 feet. That means he'll need to yeet himself to 40 miles per hour, then slam back on the brakes to zero, all within 250 milliseconds. That's literally half the time it takes to blink. In other words, I'm gonna need some really big motors and a bunch of fancy cameras to track the ball so we can predict the trajectory after only a few milliseconds. For the fancy camera part, we got ourselves 12 high-speed infrared cameras. So while a normal camera sees me and Ian and anything else that's randomly in the background, those 12 cameras only see one thing, this soccer ball. And that's because if you look real close on the soccer ball, we've got these little gray stickers called retroreflectors, whose surface is made up of tiny little glass spheres that bounce any any light right back at the light source, like you see with those markers on the road or with road signs. So these cameras blast the scene with infrared light, and because they can only see infrared, the retroreflectors glow super bright relative to everything else. So when you compare exactly where the center of the bright spot is in all 12 images, and then do some really complicated math, you get a 3D position of where the ball is down to the nearest millimeter 500 times per second. For us, that means six milliseconds after being kicked, we now have three data points we can draw a line through to predict where the ball will end up. In other words, by the time Ronaldo's kick has traveled exactly this far, the goalie robot will already know exactly where it needs to be to block the shot. 